Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for June 6, 2011. On the Nasdaq 5-day chart, looks like uh, we've got a 4, and it could be in an ending diagonal from uh, Friday, between Thursday and Friday. This would be A, B, C. So uh, if we've got a small rally that, that fades, that could be an A, B, C, D ending diagonal, hopefully. Um, at worst, it could be 4 before 5, in, uh, in either case. So um, I'm anticipating, hopefully, we get a reversal up or 2, and... Uh, after we complete five ways down, probably if it forms an ending diagonal, that'd be great. But it's, yeah, it's been a pretty rough couple days. Anyway, trust in P. Best case scenario, that's is three, four, an ending diagonal, A, B, C. So you might get a, get a gap down, A wave, excuse me, D wave, then E wave down. That's the most ideal scenario. Um, again, we need uh, A, B, C, D, E, and then a reversal. Hopefully, <laughs> it's rough, man. I, I problem with this chart though is that I really can't identify a two, and I really don't want this area to here to be a two. I do not want that to be a two. It has to be a four, and uh, if it's a two, we could be in for some. It could be really nasty in the next couple of days, this week. But if this is a four, then we'd be okay, because this would be forming an ending diagonal at the, on a fifth wave for the Dow. Best case scenario, this is three, this is four, and this is an A, B, C, D ending, ending diagonal. It'd be A, B, C. You got a rally and a D, and then an E wave down. So, if we gap up and then and fade, then that, that could probably be the last time we do that before we get a reversal up or two. And again, on the Dow chart, it's hard to identify what, where the two is because if this is a two, then we're in deep shit. <laughs> if this is a four, we're okay. I hate to say I, I I'd hate to curse, but uh, I really don't want this to be a two because that's it's, it's too small. It looks more like a four, but if it is a two, look out. <laughs> that's a wrap.